Yo, what's up guys, it's Sam, and today we're checking out the hidden features in iOS 16. Obviously, there is a lot new. We've seen the all new lock screen. We've seen the revamp messages app. Right now though, I wanna take a closer look at iOS 16. I wanna show you what Apple didn't talk about on stage and show you over 30 new hidden features. So if you're excited for this one, seriously helps me out if you drop a like down below and hit that subscribe button so you always stay up to date. All right, so first up, have you ever entered a Wi-Fi password and then forgotten it and wanted to see it? Well, now. On iOS 16, when you go into your Wi-Fi settings and tap on the I, right here on a lock network, you will see this pop-up, where if you tap on this box, you can see your Wi-Fi password. Next up, if you ever wanted haptic feedback for typing on your keyboard, iOS 16 now introduces that. It's kind of hidden in settings, go over to settings, sound and haptics, and then scroll down to keyboard feedback, and right here it says haptic. Now, when you enable this, it's crazy to actually experience it you get nice little taps on the back of your phone when you type. And I don't know, it just makes typing so much more satisfying. And while we're on the keyboard, I wanna show you the new dictation option. Not only does it work in a hybrid while you can type and dictate at the same time, and you can see it's not picking up my words while I'm typing, but the second I stop typing, it picks right back up again. So not only can you say like an end of a sentence and then move on to something else, and it is automatically putting punctuation in. But I can also say things like fire emoji, smile emoji, uh, cry laughing face emoji. Look at that, it just inputs everything. Following that on the iPad now, guys, check this out. There's a weather app, finally. I swear this is real. Look, you can even switch cities. This is now installed by Apple. Not only is the design just like really good and properly optimized for iPad, like, let me just say this again. We have a weather app on the iPad. The camera app has also gotten really powerful in iOS 16 with the ability now to convert currency. So you can see it's detected it here, which is why there's this new button in the bottom right corner. You just tap on that, you can see it detects currency, and look at what pops up right here. Another menu where if you tap on that, it automatically converts these euros to US dollars. But that's not all the camera app in iOS 16 can do. It can now also translate. So you can see it detects things again, same routine. It sees that the translate option is there. And in real time, it will show you what this says. Like it literally straight up translates it. Is that not so cool? Next up in the Photos app in iOS 16, Apple has also added a much requested feature to lock albums. Not with a passcode, it's even more secure than that. If I wanna see my hidden photos, guys, it now requires Face ID. You can see you can keep trying it and you cannot get into these photos, which is a feature we have wanted forever. Like before, these albums were just open. If you got in your Photos app, you could see these photos. And I'm not saying what you might hide in here, I'm just saying you could hide photos in here. And speaking of Face ID, not only is there a dope new animation for unlocking your phone in iOS 16, you now can also do it sideways. So watch this, my phone is gonna unlock just like that. Before Face ID was restricted to only vertical, but iOS 16, again, major enhancement if you're laying in bed, I've never seen that before. And while we're down here, look at this great new duplicate section, which shows you all of your duplicate photos. You can see I got really excited when iOS 15 beta 2 came out last summer. I mean, I was absolutely going bonkers out here. Now, look, I can merge them into one single photo just like that. It is incredible. It's super helpful. And also in the Photos app, while you are editing photos, you can see I can do a, a ton of adjustments here, make this look a little crazier. Ooh, look at that, guys. That's called that's called photo editing. Well, let's say I regret some things. I'm going to go back and then, oh, I, I actually like that change. There is undo and redo now, and it's magic. But in the Photos app, there's actually one more thing. If you tap and hold on a person, like a dog or a human, you see how it's got that animation showing that it perfectly cut it out? I can now copy that. Let's say I go into a messages app and I can paste it and look, it's a PNG of me just like that on my phone. Man, I mean, this is magic. It's actual magic in iOS 16. But hey, next up, did you know that the real hidden features were the friends that we make along the way? That's why I wanna tell you about 1Password who sponsored this video, who sponsored my entire trip out to WWDC, guys. Not only has 1Password been sponsoring me longer than anybody else, they have kept my password safe and secure longer than anybody else. See, when you have all your passwords stored in 1Password, you can go on 1Password 8 for Mac, which just came out, and use Universal Autofill, where two key 
keystrokes on your keyboard instantly fills out the credentials. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. And on iOS 16, of course, 1Password 8 is an early access on iOS with a stunning new design that makes everything more efficient. But what I love about 1Password the most is they're not just a password manager. They joined the Fido Alliance, just like Apple did, to make sure they're always on the cutting edge of authentication. And then there's fun stuff too, like the Gen G digital scavenger hunt that anybody with a web browser can play. And just for you guys, you can get all of this for 50% off for the first year of 1Password for families when you use my link down below. When I say 1Password has been supporting me longer than anybody else, I mean it. There is no one that I love more than 1Password. So show them some love down below and show yourself some love. Give your passwords the love that they deserve with 1Password. Following that, if you have an iPhone 13 and have ever used cinematic video, iOS 16 makes it quite a bit better. While it initially launched and was shown as this really cool new feature, it ended up being a bit gimmicky because it didn't look super real. But the new updates really enhance the way the depth of field works and it's pretty nice. You can see in this brief video that it's just more real realistic looking and it genuinely looks more cinematic. It really feels like the feature has fully hit its stride. For a lot of you guys that hate updating your phone, iOS 16 is also going to be great for you because hidden in automatic updates is a new option that says install system and data files. You know how historically to get even security updates you had to restart, update your entire phone? Well now these can be bundled outside of those bigger updates. Next up jumping over to the iPad, the files app got the biggest update in the iPad's history. Not only are there new sorting options up here, like being able to view things as columns on the iPad. Again, this is functionality we have never had until now. You can also get info by tapping and holding get info, look at these specific details about the sizing, the kind. This was only available on the Mac, guys. It's on the iPad now. And also on the iPad, right, this is an M1 iPad Pro that I have here specifically. There are 16 gigabytes of RAM in here. And up until now, you couldn't really utilize all that from one app at once like you could on a Mac. So Apple has introduced Virtual Memory Swap, which is just so cool. It allows you to basically amp up the power of apps individually and truly take full advantage of the M1 chip inside. Now moving on to the Memoji section, historically if you guys have been watching these videos over the years, not a huge fan, they're kind of disconcerting, and they generally make me uncomfortable. But that didn't stop Apple from adding a ton of improvements in iOS 16, like a load of new curly hairstyles, which is sick. Next up, let's jump over to the improvements in Apple Music. Number one, you can sort playlists. This is one of my favorites, dudes posting his W's, and if you tap here in the top right, there is a new sort by option. You can do the playlist order, but let's say I want to do by the artist. Now it shows me in alphabetical order my playlist. And of course, I also have some favorite artists that I love following. So let's say I want to follow my boy, Baby Keem. You can now favorite artists in Apple Music and get notified when they draw. At the bottom of your home screen on iOS 16, you might notice that in addition to your page dots being here, if you let this sit still for a second, it says search. I mean, that's a button, right? That goes into spotlight search. It's fine, but you can also just access it by swiping down like you always have. I don't know, to me, it's pretty redundant. So if you want to disable that on the home screen, just head over to settings, home screen, show spotlight and toggle that off. And there you go. You've got your page dots back like they always were. Following that in the Apple News app, Apple said local news is expanding in additional markets. That's obviously one of the issues with news. If you're only seeing national media, you kind of lose track of what's close to home. So Apple didn't say what market specifically, but a lot of additional local news should be popping up in iOS 16. In the notes app, for years you've been able to lock notes that are important or sensitive, but now you can lock them using a passcode. So you don't have to remember a specific passcode for each individual note, you can use your iPhone passcode, which is so much better. In the Stocks app in iOS 16, check out this. You can now see when earnings are coming up. It is now built in, so you can see earnings report for Neo, for example, is June 9th. You can add it to your calendar just like that, and it will automatically put an event for this on your calendar so you don't miss it out. Also, if you use the handy stocks widgets, there's a new feature in iOS 16 for show more details, where before it looked like this, it was just like a complete waste of space. Now in iOS 16, you can tap on show more details, and it gives you this really dope split view of all of your watch lists. Next up in the Apple TV app, it now supports HDR10+, which is the latest technology for HDR. So any of Apple's shows that are shot in HDR, uh, they're gonna look pretty nuts on a display like the iPhone 13. In the weather app, Apple has 
added more functionality. Well, it looks the same here, right? It's the same weather app. Try tapping on a day. Let's tap on today, for example. It not only shows you a nice curve graph like this, you can also switch it to show any of these things like wind. How's the wind gonna be today? Oh, I don't know. What is the visibility gonna be like? I'm a big visibility guy. Oh, are you? Well, then get the new iOS 16 weather app. Have you ever deleted a chat just like that and then said, oh, wait, I need to get it back? Well, now they're moved to a new section called recently deleted. To view this, just tap up here and then tap on show recently deleted and look, it stays here for 30 days. So moving on to Safari now, when you make a new account somewhere and it automatically suggests a secure password, you can go ahead and tap on other options for actually more options. You can remove special characters, obviously choose your own password, or even edit the exact password that they created to make it unique. Inside of the mail app, obviously you guys know how to send emails. You tap that blue button up there, but in iOS 16, just take an extra second to tap in a hold and you'll see this all new menu that says you can either send the email now, of course, like normal, or send it at 9 p.m. tonight, send it at 9 p.m. tomorrow, or even send it later. If you use smart home stuff by now, you've probably noticed that the home app got way better, but it's not just aesthetically. Apple specifically calls out the functionality of turning everything on or off is just better. Like I've used these Philip Hue lights and I've never seen them come on um, that quickly. It's really responsive, really good, and Apple seriously did a good job with the new home app. And finally, we've been talking about the lock screen, right? What about an always on display? Well, that's not gonna be on the iPhone 13 or whatever iPhone you're using right now. Code in iOS 16 has leaked that the iPhone 14 Pro will be getting an always on display as noticed by nine to five Mac. So this is iOS 16, guys. These are your hidden features. Let me know your favorite down below. I can't believe they pack so much in here. And an update visually looks pretty similar. So thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Thank you to 1Password again for sponsoring my trip out here. Link down below and I'll see you in the next one.